Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create custom areas. Let's say if you wanted to create a pool like this, how do you start? Well, first, just draw the general shape on a notepad or piece of paper and import it into Home by Me. Now, I'm going to quickly add a generic shape uh, cylinder, right? Uh, and get the edges uh, perfect for the curves. Duplicate, resize as needed, and I put in the all the shapes I need to start shaping the area. Now I'm going to add an outdoor area. That's good. And now I'm going to double click on the edges to add control points and start placing them where I need them. Remember, if you need more control over a particular area, just zoom right in and it'll uh, eliminate some of the snapping points and make it easier to put. Just double click, create more points. You can start laying out the entire area and having these reference shapes, you can create a, an exact curve. Just generate as many as you need to create the custom shape that you need. You see, uh, zooming in lets you place uh, points more accurately. I'm not worried too much about accuracy at this point. Um, it was just to generate the the area that I needed. Um, this pool, as you saw, has a lot of um, rocks uh, defining its area. So this shape uh, will inform me as to where to place all the rocks and to have a, um, a water surface um, for the pool. I think this entire process took me about maybe five minutes. Um, I've accelerated it um, so that it'd be easier to understand. You can do this for custom floors. You can do this for pools. You can do this for um, indoor areas or custom areas around the kitchen. Uh, it works the same way. Just add a, a construction shape that will help you guide your hand. Um, I've made um, even curved uh, driveways using this method. There we go. Just adding that little curve right there. Mm -hmm. So now I'm the, the free shapes, and now I'm just going to put in a, a blue surface for the pool, and we're done. Now it's your turn.